What's up, guys? I am so mad, but I can't even express anger because it's so good. Fucking Crisis on Earth X. Fuck. We got some characters we'll never see again. That's why I'm pissed. I can't express it because it's such a good four-part episode. And I, it's a two-night event. All four fucking things are shown between the two nights. What the fuck? You're some dirty sons of bitches for this, man. You show Metallo, I think that's his name, the guy who's a robot built with kryptonite in him. You show him first. You, you, come on, you know for damn sure we'll never see him again. And then what the fuck is this shit? A doppelganger Kara who lives on Earth X, but yet Kara doesn't exist on Earth 1 with Barry and Al with Barry Allen and Oliver Queen. The Kara that they know lives on like another earth on on a completely different one come on now what kind of, like that shit drives me crazy that idea that car can't exist on the same earth fucking what but not only that like i'm on the last episode now and the episode before this we got red tornado like they introduced red tornado we'll more than likely never see red tornado ever again for fuck's sakes we only ever see the martian manhunter on supergirl Like, what the fuck, man? You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, that's why I'm like, man, I'm, I'm super pissed. But at the same time, I'm like, it is so good that I just, I can't help it. <coughs> <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so pissed at it because I'm like, man, I wish Red Tornado would be a regular. I wish that... I hope his name is Metallo. I, I, I'm not 100% sure because I don't see him that often. But I know who he is when I look at him. He's a Superman villain. You know, the metal robot who's got the kryptonite and the heart and the eyes. And you only see him when you rip the skin off of him. Usually he's got... Uh, like he's an android, basically. I mean, seriously, what the fuck, man? We only got these characters for this. And it's irritating. Like, it's so irritating to see this shit. I'm like... It's... This is insanely good. Like, it, I, I'm not a big Supergirl fan, first of all. I, I don't watch Supergirl because... The first season was a... We really wanted Superman. And that annoyed me, but... I just... I, I don't care. So... Oh, and another thing, if you haven't watched this, they brought Snart back for this because he's on Earth X as part of the whole doppel doppelganger thing. Um, spoiler, he's gay for some reason on Earth X, but okay, whatever. I mean, they've explained that before. You might be gay on another Earth where you're straight on one, you're gay on another. Whatever. I find it funny, <laughs> and people don't really know how to take it when they see it. It's funny. Um, and you get Snart back with his buddy, apparently, I'm missing the dialogue here because I'm talking to you guys, but, um, I quit watching Legends because he got taken off the show for a minute, um, they killed his character, spoiler if you didn't know that, but he was one of the main reasons I watched that show was because his character was fucking incredible, he like stole the show. I think they took him off because he started becoming the main focus and why people wanted to watch that show. Not because of all the other characters. You know, but that's just my theory. Now, like I said before, this is an incredible, you know, all four shows um, being on there. It's incredible, man. It's really good. Um, watch it on the CW seed if you 
uh, don't get a chance to watch it on basic cable like myself. I'm watching it on the CW Seed. Um, but like myself, I'm super pissed at it because, <coughs> again, we're getting two major characters from the DC Universe. But at the same time, we'll more than likely never see these characters again. Shit, excuse me, it is like 6 o'clock in the morning when I'm making this fucking video. Deuces.